Okay, here's a Max Future tip on how to create, you know, annotations and subtitles to photos using Keynote, because Keynote can be actually a, a, a utility to create captions for photos, uh, and it's not just a PowerPoint substitute for slide presentations, but Keynote can be a very cool tool to create photos so here here's a first here's how to do it it's very easy let's take a look okay so Kino which is like PowerPoint for the Windows costs only $19.99 for the Macintosh version of Keynote so you just go to the Mac App Store and you pay $19.99 and you get Keynote and it's um, the, the, my whole point being that Keynote is also very good for doing other interesting things with photos so let's take a look how Okay, so I took this photo of my Blue Yeti microphone, and you know what I'd like to do is put uh, either captions or callouts or something, and use the photo and then upload it to the, a website to, you know, to use with like a blog. So how do you do that? How do you do that sort of easily? Uh, there are other ways, but if you have Keynote, which is twenty bucks, there's an easy way to do it. So first thing, what we do is we go to Keynote. And we launch, um, we, we just launch, let's see, we go to Keynote. I've got Keynote open here. Use the theme chooser. I'm going to um, I'm gonna choose black. And um, here we go. I'm going to create it. And the first thing you do is in Keynote, you know, the default is you get these little text areas. And I don't really want that. So I'm going to go to Inspector and, choose, and check off... Um, the slide view there which is the second button and uncheck title and body okay so then the easy thing is I am going to um, drag the photo here we go onto the slide there we go here is the photo and I am then gonna scale it so let's scale it grab one of these ends and I'm going to scale it so the whole thing fits in. You just grab these sort of little endings and let's say get it right there. So here is my photo. And let's say I could bring it all the way down to the bottom. So now let's say I want to create a caption for it. First of all, I could create a caption right in the photo. And I just go to insert in Keynote text box. And boom, there I have some text. So let's write in uh, Blue Yeti, Blue uh, Yeti. There we go. And I can put it there. I can change the font. I can do all sorts of interesting things. Okay, so to change the color or the size of the font, just select the text, right click, check, click off font, and you get the font editor. And here, like you can, you can change the color. I like to use bright yellow on a lot of my stuff. And um, you can also change the font. You can go in and, you know, you've got a wide selection of the fonts that you want. You can have all fonts. You can use Courier. Uh, let's see your final draft you can use all sorts of kooky stuff so I'm gonna do tech uh, and you can also change the size of the caption you know, depending on the font and so you have a lot of utilities in Keynote to create sort of layers of text and to caption um, your photo uh, the other thing you can do is you can use you can use um, pointers and other things in Keynote to make your photo more interesting. For example, uh, you can insert shapes. So here is, let's see, let me get an arrow, a line with a arrowhead here. So I've got a line, oops, sorry, a line with an arrowhead and I'm putting it here and I'm pointing at it. And um, what else? You've got, um, you can insert, uh, uh, let's see, uh, 
a call out. Here is a call out, and I can, uh, I can let me get rid of the arrow, and I can, um, I can put a call out here, and pretend the mic is talking, and I'll and I'll have it say, hi. Or hello. There we go. And I'm gonna, you can, I can change that font again. Right click, show fonts. Gonna make it yellow and um, we're good to go. There is my captioned photo of the Blue Yeti saying hello. Now, how do you, you know, this is in a keynote format. Now, to make it a photo, you just go to export and you have a choice. Check, uh, not QuickTime, that's a movie, not PowerPoint. Uh, check images and the format you could I'm gonna make it a JPEG make it high quality and I'm gonna export it and it asks me where I'm gonna put it into the um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call it Yeti photo Yeti photo and um, here we go Yeti photo I'm gonna save it to my downloads and export and boom we're good to go now now let's see what it looks like okay if we go to my downloads folder there's the yeti the yeti photo i'm just going to preview it now it looks nice but here's the issue i've got these big black sides because i didn't use the entire slide in keynote so how do i get rid of that how do i just use the part that's the picture well there's a great tool that can supplement your work and that tool is preview that comes with the uh, Macintosh operating system and it's uh, for photos I made it the default app so I'm gonna launch preview and there's my photo in preview and preview has a great cropping tool so I am just gonna now select the photo and I'm using the cropping tool and and there we go and I can adjust it a little bit I can bring it in a little bit Make sure there's no black borders. Bring this in a little bit. I can crop it. And there, I've got my little photo. Wait, let me try again. Okay. Here we go. I'm cropping it. And then I, I, I um, uh, under tools, I, I copy and create a new a new from clipboard so I have a new photo there is my new photo blue Yeti with no black borders I'm gonna save it save it as um, blue Yeti and uh, I'm gonna save it as a J JPEG high quality and I'm gonna save it I guess I'll save it to my desktop blue Yeti dot JPEG. I'm going to save it to, well, I didn't spell it correctly, Yeti. There we go. And so I save it. I now have uh, a nice photo that I can upload the way I want it. So here is the blue Yeti. The, the blue Yeti photo and I'm just going to open it and there it is. It's just a nice captioned photo. I can use it on my website. So basically using Keynote and the free preview app it's an easy way to create captions for your photo. Uh, I mean there's other tools out there but if you have keyboard which is good Keynote which is good for a lot of things why not use it to make captions and callouts on your um, photos. So this has been a Max Future tip from Lex at Max Future. Thanks for listening.